Hey guys, my name is Albert and I'm a game artist here at Cybo. As a game artist, I get to do super cool character designs and environments for our games. And today, I get to answer questions from you guys on how we make art and characters in Subway Surface. And I'm even gonna show you how I make a character from scratch. Now I'm all set up with my iPad here and I'm gonna take you through how I make a cool character design. So here, I have essentially a sketch of a character, but the character has no theme. It's kind of like a blank slate. And in spirit of the new update of Copenhagen, I want to make a Viking character, but I also want to keep it street. Over here on the right, I found all these cool pictures. That is my main inspiration. It's what we call the mood board. So I wanted it to be a Viking character that feels street. So I found some Viking references. I have some sword. I have cool Viking jewelry. I have runes. Then I have some clothes down here. I have some more modern clothes, like the jeans and the cap. So usually the place I like to start is with the head. It's the first thing you see when you see the character and it's where you have the most soul. So I have the idea of the cap. So first I will draw the cap on her. So what I thought could be fun is to have some sort of symbol on the cap. And I think these runes I found over here could be pretty cool. That cool rune symbol right on the head. Doesn't need to be exactly like on the drawing. I can just, I can freestyle it myself. So I'm drawing her eyes and I like to give my characters big eyes. I think it's fun. It makes the character more cute. You can do more fun expressions when you design a character if they have big eyes. Yonek18 from Twitter asks, what needs to be done for a fan created character to appear in game? I think you guys should just go crazy with your characters. Don't think about any limitations. We already have some pretty out there characters in Subway Surfers and we would just like to see more of this. Be creative, go crazy. Okay, so I want to move on to the clothes because right now there's not a lot going on. I have the idea of this like fur thing. I think it feels very Viking and I like to maybe exaggerate it a bit. I can always tone it down later. So it can be something like this. Whenever I design a character, I always try to look for shapes within the design. Something I might not have planned. I planned to have the fur, but I did not know until I started drawing it exactly what shape it had to have. And now it's getting to be this triangle here. The more of these like interesting shapes you can have in your character design, the more unique it will feel. I also like the idea of the belt. That's something that to me feels very Viking. So I want to give her a huge belt here. Almost like if she's a wrestler in a way. But then to break up this classic Viking design, I want to give her these jeans because I feel like that feels very young and very street. TKT Switch on Instagram asks, What's the weirdest story behind a character's creation? I once created a character for Subway Surfers for the Amsterdam update based on my girlfriend. And now she works in the company. And I never told anyone until this very moment. Now I feel like maybe I can do the hair. And usually in Subway Surfers the characters don't have crazy long hair. But I don't think I should be limited by what's already there. So I'm just going to go crazy and give her this huge huge hair. It's so big it goes all the way around here and then up to her head it would go like that. Whoa. That's a lot of hair. Sour Lemon Arts on Instagram asks, who was the hardest to design and who do you like the most? For me the hardest character to design was Manny, the skeleton character from the Mexico update. How do you take a skeleton, which is quite scary, and make it into a fun and street character that fits into Subway Surface? So the way we made Manny work was by cutifying him. We gave him big eyes, a funny cap, just tried to really play on the way to make him fun. And he turned out to be a cute little guy. And the character I liked the best I designed was Jolene. Another thing that is very important when you make a character and you have to present your character design is to think about the stance of the character. I chose to have my character be very open. Often a lot of people, they like to have the characters have an arm in front of the face or something like that, and that is cool. But if you want people to really see the full character design, it's very good to open up and it also shows confidence. I think she looks pretty cool that way. Then I wanna, I wanna give her a hoverboard. And this is where I was thinking I could use the idea of the sword. So I was thinking perhaps she has drawn or painted swords on the hoverboard. Perhaps she could have a board that was a sword. That would be pretty cool actually. Should I do that? That's cool. Let's do that instead, that's fun. Okay, quick decision. I will cut off her arm and I will move it up here. Quickly sketch it out like this because then there's room for her to have the whole sword. It's gonna be pretty big. You can also what I like to do is to turn the drawing completely upside down so I get this like more clear perspective of what I'm doing. Alright, now I feel like I have an interesting sketch. 
I feel like I like the shapes. I think there's an interesting story here. In general, I think I'm ready to just clean up the drawing. So what I like to do is I like to take the layer in here, take it down a bit, and then I basically draw a more clean layer on top. And perhaps I like to go into some of these, like, oh, what is this? It's just a circle right now. Could it be cool if it had some like ornaments? What if it was something like some Viking symbol instead? I like to not have too many details, but some places that I want to be in focus, those places it's nice to add a little extra detail. If she's very, very street, then perhaps I would use more time on the cap. If it's more about like, oh, she's this Viking princess, then I would go in and work more on the jewelry. You can kind of tell the story on where you put all the detail. So I'm drawing this character and I'm kind of drawing it in my own art style. And my art style is not exactly the same as Subway Surfers. You can see in Subway Surfers the head would be a little bigger, maybe the feet would be a bit bigger, the legs would be a bit thinner. But it doesn't matter too much because it's about the feel of the character. It's easier to then take that cool looking character and change it a bit to fit subway surface. So I think you shouldn't think too much when you make your characters about, ah, oh, this has to match exactly subway surface. Just think about what's a cool character. Fernand on Twitter asks, of all the concept arts that you have done over the years, which one stood out the most? Well, some of the coolest things I've designed for subway surface is yet to be revealed, so stay tuned. Also, one of the things that stood out to me the most was that I created the character Miss Maya. We made her, and then we kind of forgot about her for two years and then suddenly she got picked up and she was put in the game. And you guys, your response to that character was amazing and that was super cool for me to see. I'm almost finishing up the sketch now and from here I would usually go into a bit more of cleanup and perhaps color. I didn't really go deep into how you actually draw, I didn't talk about how to make anatomy proper, I didn't talk about how to find the right shapes for the face and stuff. I think the main point here was more about how can you come up with a cool character. We would rather see you come up with some super cool designs, super cool characters, instead of focusing too much on it looking amazing. It's the idea that matters when you do concepts. Well, I'm gonna hand this off to Matilda and I just want to wish everybody in this competition the best of luck. I'm sure you'll come up with some super cool ideas and I'm really looking forward to see them. Well, thanks for all your questions, guys. And please remember to send in your characters. This is your chance. And don't forget to subscribe to Cyber TV for updates on the competition.